welcome biologists to this session where we're going to be looking at the features and functions of the mammalian gas exchange system also known as the lungs so here is a diagram of the lungs which you do need to be able to recognize and label so if you want to pause the video and have a go at labeling it might be a good idea to do but we have here at the beginning our trachea which is also known as our windpipe and our trachea is lined with cartilage this c-shaped cartilage we're going to look at in a little bit more detail later on Matrachia then splits off into two bronchi or bronchus for singular and my bronchus then splits off into bronchioles or larger bronchioles. Now as you can see on this diagram here we have a membrane surrounding my lungs and this membrane is called the pleural membrane which has um, uh, fluid within this pleural cavity and the whole purpose of this is to prevent the lungs from rubbing up against the rib cage during inhalation. We also have external and internal intercostal muscles which play a vital role within ventilation which we'll look at later on and here on this side you can see I have another bronchiole but this one is much smaller and the bronchioles feed into these alveoli which are these gas exchange sacs that we'll look at in a, in a bit more detail later on. Now I have a right lung on the left hand side and a left lung on the right hand side the reason why they appear to be switched over is because they're labeled as if it would be in a body so if you look at your own body your left one will be on your left hand side and your right one will be on your right hand side I have a heart in the middle and underneath these I have this dark muscle here called the diaphragm which again plays a vital role within ventilation which you'll look at later on so now we've got an overall view of the lung structure we now need to look at the role of these different components within these different areas of the lungs so the first one is goblet cells and cilia so in this diagram here you can see i have these goblet cells here and the role of the goblet cells is to secrete mucus which traps dust or bacteria that have entered the lungs now anything in a red box here is taken directly from the mart scheme it's well worth paying attention to now once this mucus has been secreted from the goblet cells and it's trapped any dust or bacteria the cilia here that line these ciliated epithelial cells will then waft the mucus to the top of the trachea or the back of the mouth where it is swallowed or coughed up the next one is elastic fibers and the role of elastic fibers is to recoil back to their original shape they help to expel air from the lungs and they also help to prevent the lungs from bursting we'll look at where these are found within the different components shortly next one is smooth muscle and the role of a smooth muscle is to contract to constrict the airways and the reason why you might need to do this is, is to prevent any harmful chemicals from entering the, wrong, the lungs or restrict the, the volume of harmful chemicals entering the lungs the next one is cartilage uh, you can see and feel this within your throat the c-shaped rings of cartilage in the trachea and it provides strength and support to the um, airways it also helps to prevent collapse um, during breathing in because when you breathe in you get a lot of negative or lower pressure within the trachea which you'll learn about later on so now we know a little bit more about the roles of these different types of tissue we now need to look at the composition within these different areas of the lungs so first of all we have our trachea and our trachea has these distinct c-shaped rings of cartilage uh, which again help to provide strength and support for the trachea we also have elastic fibers within the wall which allow the trachea to recall back to its original shape we have smooth muscle um, which contracts to constrict the airways and we have ciliated epithelial cell which waft the mucus to the back of the throat so that's the trachea the next one is the bronchi the bronchi again it has cartilage but it's not c-shaped it just has pieces of cartilage here to give strength and support to the bronchi it also has smooth muscles contract to constrict the airways it has elastic fibers which stretch and recoil back to their original shape and we also have ciliated epithelial cells which waft the mucus to the back of the throat the bronchioles, these have smooth muscle, elastic fibres and squamous epithelial cells here, not ciliated to prevent that smooth transition and the smooth flow of air in and out of the lungs. And the last one, elastic fibres, is simply made of, um, sorry, alveoli are made of elastic fibres and squamous epithelial cells. So alveoli, um, they need to recall back to original shape and they need to have that smooth, thin diffusion pathway in the squamous epithelial cells. 
Guys, good luck with your exams. All the best.